हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए फेमस नॉवलिस्ट फेमस फेमनिस्ट नॉवलिस्ट एंड सी इज जेन ऑस्टिन एज वी नो जेन ऑस्टिन बोर्न इन द ईयर ऑफ 1775 इन स्टीवर्ड हैमशायर इंग्लैंड एंड सी वाज डाइड इन द ईयर ऑफ 1817 सी वाज ए फेमनिस्ट नॉवलिस्ट हु बिलोंग्स टू द 18 century as we know 18th century starts with the romantic era and romantic era start with the publication of lyrical ballad that was the collaborated work of s t coleridge and william wordsworth that was published in the year of 1798 it is very important to know you the romantic age when starts so it starts from 1798 and it goes to 1837 so this was the time this was the romantic era when jane austen was writing something for the woman she is considered as a feminist novelist because one who writes for the woman plights takes central character as a woman and depicts all the works related to the woman like marriages love engagements so these types of work or this type of things are shown in jane austen's works so she is considered as a feminist novelist who always writes for the woman rights and let's talk about her characteristics her novels are full of irony as you know what is irony it's a kind of figure of speech which is in grammar we describe in a figure of speech irony is a kind of statement which has a surface meaning is different from a literal meaning we want to say something and the sense of saying is different in the other way so this is a irony and jane austen's work pride and prejudice that was published in the year of 1813 it was full of irony so even jane austen mentioned that her work is a two inches of ivory this phrase is used by jane austen that two inches of ivory two inches of ivory means very little her work are very short and little and her content is limited her experience is limited but in spite of all her work has a great influence on human being on society on a human so it's she talks about her works in the same way if we talk about the themes of her novels her novels deal with the love marriages and engagement themes her content is full of human nature or a woman jane austen's all works are based on the woman characters so today we will discuss about her famous novels so let's talk let's talk about her famous novels starting from sense and sensibility it was published in the year of 1811 it was her first novel if we talk about her second novel that was a famous novel or a most important novel that was pride and prejudice that was published in the year of 1813 and her next novel was mansfield park that was published just after the publication of pride and prejudice means in the year of 1814 the date of publication of mansfield park and her most important or last novel emma that was published in the year of 1816 so these four novels of jane austen are very important in the point of view of net hpsc or estate being a literature student you must 
all know these four novels are most important of Jane Austen. <coughs> Besides this, she has written more other novels like her unfinished novels like Sandington and Perse Watson's. These are the unfinished novels. Even she has written two more novels, Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. <coughs> so these novels are published posthumously. Means when Jane Austen was died in the year of 1817, she was died. But two novels like Northanger Abbey and Persuasion, which were published in the year of 1818. So these two novels are published posthumously when Jane Austen was died. So this I have told you the surface reasoning or surface knowledge of this Jane Austen's works. Now let's discuss in detail one by one. So starting from her first work as I told you her first work is Sense and Sensibility as the name suggests. It was published her work it was the first in the year of the if you talk about the publication of this work it was 1811 sense and sensibility was the first work of Jane Austen <clears throat> its original title is Eleanor and Marina Eleanor and Marina actually what is the plot of this novel there is a Mr. Dashwood Dash who is a wealthy man who has a two daughter Eleanor and Marina. Actually once there is in net exam question is raised or asked what Eleanor represent. So I would like to tell you Eleanor represent sense means she has a <coughs> great mind of thinking she has a mature she is mature enough to take decision so sense is related to the mind activity maturity so here sense describes Eleanor's characters she is the daughter of Mr. Deswood and the other hand if we talk about Marina who represents as a sensibility and sensibility is a full of emotions full of feelings means she is somewhere sensitive so this is the story of two daughters who are very sensitive so here we discuss Eleanor is married with Edward Friars at the end she took a right decision and she thought that Edward Friar is the complete man is the right partner for her and she decided to marry at the end of this novels Eleanor married with Edward Fryers. On the other hand, Marina, who was married with Brenton, Colonel Brenton. So this is the story of two daughters who represent pride, who represent what their sense and sensibility. So this is the story of sense and sensibility. If we talk about the next most important novel of Jane Austen is Pride and Prejudice. Actually, there is a character, Mr. Darcy, who is a wealthy man, who is a wealthy man and Mr. Elizabeth Janet. Elizabeth Janet thought that Mr. Darcy being a rich man, being a famous man, being a rich man or a he is a rich man so she thinks that being a rich man he is full of pride so here Darcy represent pride on the other hand Elizabeth Janet who is the heroine of this novel she thinks that Mr. Darcy being a money minded being a rich man he is a full of pride on the other hand Mr. Dashwood he is the hero of this novel he thought that when he proposed Elizabeth Bennet for marriage, she rejected 
him. So he thought that she is full of prejudice. Elizabeth Bennet is full of prejudice. Actually, guys, before going to for before going in deep, I should tell you what does mean prejudice. Prejudice means somewhere, sometime we start hate someone for doing his things or we start thinking or disliking someone without any logic or without any reason. We start hating someone. In the same way, Elizabeth Bennet start hating him or start disliking Mr. Dashwood being rich. She thought that he was full of pride and Mr. Dashwood when she, he proposed her so she rejected for the marriage and he thought that Elizabeth Bennet is full of a full of prejudice. One day what happened actually Elizabeth Bennet is a family in the England and Elizabeth Mrs. Elizabeth has five daughters whom she wants to marry and she was looking well settled boys for their daughters. So what happened actually the sister of Mr. Elizabeth Bennet is Lydia. Lydia is the sister of Elizabeth Bennet who runs or eloped the way with Mr. Wickham. Wickham is the character who is a gambler. He is a stubborn man. He is not a good man and he eloped away with Lydia and now Bennett family's reputation come to an end and it was the Darcy. Darcy was the hero as I told you in the earlier time that Darcy, Elizabeth Bennett thought that Darcy is a bad person. So when the reputation of Bennett family come to an end, it was the Darcy who get back to Mr. Wickham to the platform. He helped Mr. Wickham to get out of his debt. He helped Wickham and Lydia to get together. So it was the Wick Darcy who helped Wickham and Lydia to come together. After coming together, they start liking to each other. In this way, the marriage was took place. So when Mrs. or when Elizabeth Bennet came to know about the incident, her prejudice was removed. Now she thought that the being a rich man, it doesn't mean that he has a pride. So her prejudice was removed in this way. And at last, Mr. Darcy proposed Elizabeth Bennet. In this way, marriage took place. So this is the theme of this novel. In this way, Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet come together and Wickham and Lydia lived a happy life. So this is the story of the pride and prejudice. On the other hand, if we talk about some important lines of this novel, Actually, there are two or three lines or statement which is reported in Pride and Prejudice. Like I should read for you. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in a possession of good fortune must be in want of a wife. I think you have heard these lines are most important which are asked in even net exam. I must repeat this line again. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in a position of good fortune must be in want of a wife. These lines are said by Elizabeth Bennet. Means it was the lines taken from Elizabeth's mother. She said that every rich or poor man or every rich man or poor man must be want of a wife means he can't do without a wife marriage should be 
there. So these lines are taken from Pride and Prejudice. And another, another lines are taken from Jane Austen. It is said by Jane Austen that a lady's imagination is very rapid. Means a lady is very rapid in her decision, in her choice. So it jumps from admiration. It jumps to admiration. It jumps to admiration to love, from love to matrimony in a moment. Means women are very soft in decision, very rapid, very quick in decision. Even from they jumps from admirations. When we praise some woman, they become influenced. They become impressed, and they jump from love, love to matrimony and a moment so women are very quick in decision they from when we praise them they jump from love love to matrimony and matrimony to marriage so these lines are taken from the pride and prejudice because as i told you main theme of the jane austen novels are love marriage and engagement so I think we should not talk more about pride and prejudice. And if we talk about her third novel, Mansfield Park. As you know, Mansfield Park was published in the year of 1814, just after the publication of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, in 1830, it was Pride and Prejudice was published, or in the 1814, just after Pride and Prejudice. Mansfield Park was published. <clears throat> it is a Bildung's Roman novels. I think you have heard this Bildung's Roman novel is a novel in which character, mind or physical or a mental growth takes place. Means when novel start, hero of the novel is a child and when novel goes to end, he grows up a man. Same things happen if we talk about two novels like Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. It is written by Charles Dickens' Great Expectation. Great Expectation is a building's Roman novel in which a character is a pip who lives under a lady, Mrs. Havisham, who works as a boy and Thereafter, soon he become a great businessman. So, from a childhood story goes to a businessman. So, from a child it goes to a middleman. Same way, there is no Henry Fielding's Tom Jones, <coughs> in which Tom Jones was left in a cradle by her aunt and starts story from a cradle. And one day, Mr. Tom Jones become the hero of the story. He become a mature man. So these kind of novels are known as Bildung's Roman novels or central, their central character is always often. There are two characteristics of a Bildung's Roman novel. That's the hero or a protagonist starts from a childhood and goes to middle age. Means story start from childhood and goes to the mature growth man. Physical and mental growth is happening there. Though this is all about buildings, Roman novels, friends. And if we talk about this novel, Mansfield Park is a so buildings Roman novel. In this, there is a character, Edmund Buttram. He is a child. He lives with her aunt and uncle. And there is a orphan girl. As I told you, buildings Roman novel. There is another character. There is a hero is a orphan. So there is a protagonist or a heroine of this novel is Fanny Price. Fanny Price is a orphan girl who lived with Mr. Bertram and Mrs. Bertram. They lived there and their son is Adram, Edmund Bertram. Edmund Bertram who fall in love with a girl who came from city to the village and he fall in love with that girl and that girl name was Mary. After some time they after marrying after marriage become life partner they shifted to the city 
there after some time quarrel start between them and they thought that they are not made for each other <coughs> their relationship was going to be over soon so they get separated edmund bertram came to the village and here he find that in the some corner fanny price loved him but she never expel she never tell about her love and even edmund bertram thought that she is the right choice or she is the right choice for him and she loves him by the core of heart finally edmund bertram and fanny price come together and they proposed each other and they become life partner so this is the story of mansfield parks i think i i should have told you all the minor and major aspect of this novel now we would like to tell you the second last novel emma actually emma is novel based on emma woodcock she is the heroine of the novel and she does a profession of match makings even she arranges marriage for others but what happens actually emma woodcock she fails to arrange partner for herself because in the first novel we saw she start loving frank churchill frank churchill is the character in this novel emma and emma woodhouse start loving the frank churchill but later on when his reality or his secret reveal that frank churchill was married with a girl firefox so she stopped or she left the idea of marrying him now she wanted to marry with a george nightingale george nightingale who was the thrice of her age but there is shown that there is a marriage issue there is a family issues george nightingale was a rich man so she at last she married with george nightingale who was the thrice of her marriage or he was the thrice of her age in this way this happens even she that then i could not make a right choice for myself and last <coughs> novel we will discuss northanger abbey it was published posthumously as we know for novels are most abundant we have discussed and her last novel is northanger abbey two novels were published posthumously that northanger abbey and persuasion northanger abbey is the novel which was published in 1818 as we know jane austen was died in 1817 and this novel was published in 1818 means after the death of jane austen northanger abbey is asked in many exam that which novel is published posthumously after posthumously so so jane after the death of jane austen it was published so northanger abbey's original title is susan actually susan is a girl of 18 year she starts reading novel of mr any redcliff whose novel is the mysteries of mrs udolpho the history mysteries of udolpho the mysteries of udolpho and susan's real name is <coughs> catherine moorland she is the character in the novel moothri catherine moorland she starts reading the novel of any redcliff gothic novel as you know any redcliff wrote gothic novels that were based on ghost or a supernatural elements so she reads two or three times the mystery of mrs udolpho and after reading this novel she start thinking she become insane she start thinking in real life as a supernatural elements she takes human characters as a supernatural elements so this is the story of northanger abbey about catherine moorland now we will discuss jane austen's unfinished novel 
these are two novels and these two novels are sendington and the watson sendington and watson are the two unfinished novels of jane austen so friends today we have discussed major and minor works of jane austen i think after reading such a content you would not going to face any problem in your exam whether it's a tet net or any hpsc or a hsc exam actually this matter is made this content is made for every student who is a literature lover or a being a literature student you must know all these things so keep watching this video still then take care